On Friday, August the 29th, 2014, I posted anachronism 2,221. Small town with a huge marquee. Water and sewer superintendent of the 20th century. Star football player enters dramatic theatrical foray. Plays lead male in a senior play opposite Grandma, whom he barely knew. Except with whom he had, for a variety of unrelated reasons, reportedly, often found himself, often found himself red-faced in argument. Dapper red face, often contorted into a look of utter bewilderment, could skew more at stupefaction for numerous reasons, but who uh, Grandma in the play uh, would say something more strict from the script, but pointing figure, finger to the tune of, I'm gonna keep my eyes on you, mister, even if I have to stare at your face from across our kitchen table every breakfast, dinner, supper, every gosh darn day for the rest of my life. Seventy or so years later, she meant those words script-free, all inside her body and especially way down into her heart, no longer just in character in some small-town production. Even though her 1940s were now tucked neatly into her a dime store novel, that could only be reached by beckoning the airwaves. Even he'd been gone already for a decade. Of that grand story in its long run on East Main Street, 60 years of no small town marriage, she'd be happy to remind anyone who cared until she repaired her crooked joints down into the sunken bed beside him. That is a particularly morbid story that is a romantic love story of my grandparents, my maternal grandparents, God rest their souls. My inspiration, my grandmother. Wow.